It's another math day here with Teacher Jenny. Join me for another discussion here. And this time, we're going to be talking about parameter versus statistic. Now, let's now get to know what are parameter and statistic. When you say parameter and statistic, they are both with the same meaning. They are a descriptive measure. Now, what is descriptive measure? Now, when we say descriptive measure in statistics, we are referring to the average, the mean, the median, the standard deviation. Sometimes you will be seeing percent and also proportion. So those are descriptive measure in which you will be describing your population or the sample. Now, when you say parameter and statistic, they are only different when it comes to what are they describing with. When you say parameter, this will be describing your population. So as you can see here, you've got P on parameter and P on population. So it's easier for you to really recognize whether this descriptive measure is parameter or statistic. Because when it describes a population, you will have that one as parameter. When it describes a sample, then that will be statistics. So you will really have to remember this one easily because you've got their first letters that are the same. So we have PP and SS. PP, parameter, that's describing population. SS, statistic, that will be describing your sample. So let's now have an example here. Let's try to determine whether the following is a parameter or a statistic. So we have the average annual salary for 35 of a company's 1,200 accountants is 3,400,000 pesos. So I'm sorry for the currency. Sorry for those who are not coming from the Philippines. But pesos really is um, the currency here in the Philippines. Anyways, so we are here to determine whether this is parameter or statistic. But first, let us try to find out what is our descriptive measure here. So the descriptive measure here is what we have as the average annual salary, which is equivalent to your 300, I mean, 3 million, 400,000 pesos. So that's our um, descriptive measure. Now, what does it describe to? Or what is it describing? It's describing your 35 of a company's 1,200 accountants. This one. Now, we will be categorizing or identifying whether the one that we are describing here with our descriptive measure is a population or sample. 35 of a company's 1,200 accountants, meaning to say you've got that one as only a portion of the 1,200 companies' accountant in there. So this is just a sample because when you say sample, that is just a portion taken from the population. And normally when you say sample, you've got the keywords there as selected, sample, and then most likely surveyed. So that would somehow will give you a 90% sure that you will have there a sample. So this time we have here a sample. Since we have a sample, everyone, this is now PPSS. Try to think of that one. PPSS. So we have our sample which starts or which started with the letter S. So automatic, this descriptive measure, which is the average annual salary, which is 3,400,000 pesos is what we call as statistic. So I hope it's clear. Next, we go for another example. In a survey of a sample of high school students, 43% said that their mother has taught them the most about managing money. Now, as I mentioned a while ago, when you say descriptive measure, it may not be the mean, the average, the median, the standard deviation. It may be of the form percent or proportion in there. So on the statement, we have 43%. This is our descriptive measure in which this will be describing our 
sample of high school students. So since there is the word sample on it, automatic this is our sample. And again, your descriptive measure there, we call that one as statistic because we are describing our sample which starts with the letter S. So I hope you were able to follow that through. Next, we have 62 of the 97 passengers aboard the airship survived its explosion. Now, the first thing for you to do is to really spot or determine what is your descriptive measure. The descriptive measure here, we don't have the mean, we don't have the average, we don't have the median, the standard deviation in there, we don't have the percent, but what we only have here is our proportion in which we have that one as 62 of the 97. So that is your proportion, 62 of the 97 passengers. So this will be our descriptive measure. If this will be our descriptive measure, what will be our, or how do we call this one? Is it a parameter or a statistic? Now, looking at what it describes too, this describes the passengers aboard the airship. And we are talking about the population in here, which is the subject of your study or the research. So that is your population. And of course, your 62 of the 97 in there, we call that descriptive measure as a parameter. Next one, we have as of January 2021, 80% of the senators are in favor of the COVID vaccination. So this statement here, we have our descriptive measure as in terms of percent. Now let us try to distinguish whether this descriptive measure is a parameter or statistic. Now let's look for the one it's describing. It's describing the senators. Now if you have there a name that refers to the entire group, that is population. So the senators or any, any names there to represent one group of individual, that will be taken as population. Unless you have a specified number in there beside that name of a group or individuals, then that will be taken as a sample. But since we only have the senators in there, that is population. Automatic 80% will become a parameter. So next example, we have the average height of the grade 11 senior high school students is five feet and two inches. So again, we have our descriptive measure here, which is the average height of, um, or average height, which is five feet and two inches. We are going to take that along with a descriptive measure because that's the value of the average height. And of course, that's describing to the grade 11 senior high school students in which that is taken as one group and that's a population. So this is our parameter. So I hope you were able to, or by now you can now easily determine with it, whether you got their parameter or statistic as a given descriptive measure. So I really do hope that you were able to follow through with the discussion. And I hope I, I was able to unlock the confusion between parameter and statistic in this discussion. So once again, join me for another video and please like and subscribe and share the video. And don't forget to click on the notification bell so that you will be updated on my latest video.